Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically create boundaries around your Revit interior elevations. Every architecture company I've worked for has vented their frustration with the lack of outlines or boundaries around interior elevations. I guess it's one of those things that's just been carried over from the days of using AutoCAD. People try to replicate the AutoCAD look of interior elevations by using different line thicknesses to denote depth and using a thick boundary around each elevation. I've seen companies come up with very different but very time consuming solutions to this problem. Some people create solid white fill regions around each elevation and others draw bold annotation lines around them. While you think it's oh, just two minutes per elevation, it adds up. Stop wasting your time on such mindless things. I'm gonna show you two ways to solve this issue through automation and you pick the one that you like depending on how picky you are about your interior elevation graphics. Here's an elevation sheet of a project that I'm working on right now. In this view, the elevations look pretty acceptable. They all seem to have a boundary around them. But when I go to print them and I use the default settings and go into preview mode, you can see that several of these elevations are missing outlines. The crop boundaries don't show up and they're hiding the boundary walls, ceilings, or even the floors, so they aren't outlined properly. So an easy way to fix this is to go into your print setup and uncheck hide crop boundaries. When you preview it now, you'll see that every single elevation has a clean outline around it. The only downside to using this method is that you can't control the thickness of these crop boundaries. Now that was a fairly simple method. Just create all your elevation sheets separately without hiding the crop boundaries under a separate print set. The next method is gonna use a Dynamo script to let you control the thickness of that crop boundary line. Go to your Manage tab in your Revit file and start up Dynamo. Then open the Revit script that I have linked in the description below. In order for the script to work, you need to download the Rhythm package. Under Sheets, I'm gonna scroll down and select A401 Interior Elevations. This is gonna be linked to my sheet.getViewports and Views node, and then the Override Crop version node. The Rhythm package actually has two different types of Override Crop version nodes. Crop version 2 is much faster and it works better for interior elevations. The override crop node is slower, but it claims to be more stable. For this script, I'm gonna use the crop version 2 node. I'm gonna set the number on the integer slider to 12 for now and run the script. You can see that all the elevations on that page immediately have this thick, solid boundary line around them. This is a little excessive, so I'm going to drop the number on the integer slider down to seven and run the script again. You can see now that the crop boundaries are not as bold, but they clearly define each interior elevation as you would in AutoCAD. By using this simple script, you have saved yourself hours by not creating fill regions around each of these elevations. I really hope you find this useful, something as mundane as interior elevation outlines shouldn't hold you back from being productive at work. Work smarter with solutions such as these. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.